Miss Saigon is back at the Broadway Theater, where it first opened in 1991 and played for over 4,000 performances. We're here today to welcome the show's new stars. Miss Saigon is back at the Broadway Theater. This is so exciting. How are you feeling? You're here. I know. I This is actually, I was just telling you a second ago, my first ever moment sitting in the auditorium or standing and looking on stage, and it's kind of amazing. People have been waiting for this one to come back, I feel like. Have you felt that excitement just amongst like friends when you got cast in it? Yeah, like random people who don't know anything about Broadway were like, oh, Miss Saigon, that's that one about Vietnam, right? And so it's 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 amazing. There's this, the, the, this energy is here with it, um, a universal energy. Through social media and through word of mouth, it's just, it, it's almost like the fire of the show spreads quicker. A lot of people have seen the show before and they're excited to see the new production. It's a revival and, you know, we've changed a lot of things. It's darker, it's grittier, it's it's more intense. I feel like this show has uh, more emotional power than people even expect. I think they sort of lump it with like, oh, it's one of those big mega musicals, but then the experience of seeing it, it feels so modern and raw. I think the thing that makes it different is that it's, um, it's such recent history. There are people that are gonna come and see this show that were there. It's a show that slaps you in the face and you keep coming back for it because it, it felt good and you realize something. It's a beautiful score and you, there's a lot of big singing, a lot of big notes. Uh, are you excited to sing that score every night? I, I can't wait. I can't, I, it's, I mean, even in my audition, I was like, do you guys want to hear anything else? I know the whole score. I mean, I just, I love it so much. This is something that I used to, you know, before my voice changed, used to sing Ellen's part. And then <laughs> now I'm singing these parts. And it just, again, blows my mind that I get to sing this on this stage. I think people, it, it takes them a few days to recover from from watching the show. It's, it's a show that has a lot of heart and a lot of story to tell. You get to sing an amazing showstopper called The American Dream. Is it safe to assume you are now living the American Dream? Oh yeah.